Hey guys, my name is Chex and welcome to this sort of a beginner's guide for heroes my magic PvP and I'll be doing. So before this video starts, just want to say thank you to Makiki for letting me use his guide, which I'll be using to make this video, and to my patrons Ryurik and Joachim Carlson, one donating donating 5 euros and the second donating 3 euros. Thanks a lot boys, appreciate you. Without further ado. So what do we need to play online? First of all, we're gonna need Shadow of Death, Gold Edition or Complete. If you already don't have the game, the easiest way to get it is to buy the Complete Edition on Good Old Games. And do not buy the HD Edition, because it has no expansions, it will never have any, it's incompatible with mods, and it's more expensive. So in other words, HD Edition is a total scam. So two mods that we're going to be needing is first the HD mod. We can play in a higher resolution, has a lot of improvements, we can make uh, re repeatable co quick combat, keyboard shortcuts and chest timer. It fixes some bugs and gives more options for the random map generator. And the second important mod is the unofficial expansion Horn of the Abyss. So it improves the balance of the game, adds a new, completes a new faction, which is Skull, fixes many bugs and adds more content in general. And I would recommend just playing around with the faction, it is pretty fun. Uh, they're in the swamp terrain and they have some fun units. And both of the mods are available free of charge and I'm gonna leave the link in the description down below. So after you've installed Hoda and the HD mod, uh, we're gonna run the launcher. So you're gonna select Hoda from here, from this drop down window. And you can just adjust the settings as you like, these are my settings, you know, maybe everybody has their own. I don't really like playing in the biggest resolution because the, the screen is a bit too stretched out for me. And you want to tick this save all days for tournaments. Because it is really good, especially when playing PvP. If um, you want to just, you know, check a certain day after the game is done or you have to load. And you'll have all the days there and you can use that to reload. And of course, before you even go into the game, check for the updates. Click the update and it's gonna say if you have the latest version of not you're gonna download it. And that's it. So yeah, finally we're in the game. So what what you have to do is go to New Game, Multiplayer, and you'll have this Online Lobby lo option. So if you don't have an account, we can easily create one, have the name, password, confirm the password, and type in your email. It's super easy. After that, we just log in, and we'll be greeted with the Online Lobby. So all the yellow games are the ones already been played, so we can't join that, but all the white games are actually people hosting the room, so you can just hop in. If you want to create your own room, you can do so, but be sure to describe the game, so the template, the difficulty, and the timers. And no password if you wanna want people to join. You can also have rank, so mine is zero, of course. And you just gain rating by winning games. This is the reputation system. The more people that add you, the higher your uh, reputation is. So now seven people have added me on the friends list, so I have plus seven. So I'll be showing you guys how this stuff works. So I have my opponent here. We agreed on the template. And we have to check the more options, right? So tournament rules, uh, to keep it as simple as possible, it limits the OP-ness of... Diplo, it limits the Cloak of the Balanced King, it limits using Dimension Door, and no hit and run. So if you wanna read more, I have the guide in the in the description. Your protection password, really good to have, because uh, when loading, both of the players have to enter their passwords, so one player can join, like, just modify the save, you know, and give himself, like, resources and stuff, because he needs your password as well, so pretty nice to have. Start timer after pressing OK, pretty straightforward, when you press OK, when it says it's your turn, you press OK, and then the, uh, the timer starts. Chest timer, so this first, uh, first number here is your starting time, so it's 12 minutes, right? And this second number is how much you'll get after ending the turn, it's added onto your time that's left, right? And the battle, every battle you take, it will increase this by this minute so let's say i end my turn with 10 minutes left i end it i gain plus four and then after every fight i'll get plus two uh so important to note when you're in a battle and you run out of timer you will you will continue the battle normally but when the battle ends uh your turn automatically ends and simultaneous turns uh, so when the players will meet you'll 
you have to guess how early or how late you will meet and then you have the same turns on. So one to one. If you think you can meet till the next week you just have the simultaneous turns till one to one. So I'll be showing you guys uh, how towns are picked in the competitive games. I'll cover the most common one which is called trade. So in trade we press on PvP options, we go random versus random, and we get Rampart versus Rampart, but I want to cover the... Like, when there's not a mirror, so we got Stronghold versus Castle, right? And now the bidding begins. So, let's say I bid 2k, my opponent 2.5k, I don't know, 3k... For me, and my opponent says 4k, and I'm like, you know what, I'll go 4.5... And he's like, okay, pass. And now I get the town which I want for... 4.5k, so let's say I want to play Castle. Castle and Valeska. That means I have to pay my opponent 4.5k to play Castle. And my opponent is uh, forced to pick Stronghold, because that is the second town. And now we bid for the color. So let's say my opponent bids 800, uh, 9, 900, and he's like, you know what, I'll go 1k. And I'm, I'm like, okay, pass, because I already paid... 4.5. So my opponent plays Stronghold Red and I play Castle Blue. Can I please put myself? Thank you. And now we have to give the money to my opponent. So I paid I paid 4.5, but he paid me 1k in uh, for the color. So that means he gets this and I get minus that. So that's our starting gold. No. There we go. And the system is gonna say how much each player gets, and now we can begin. It asks everything here, so yeah, I wanna double check it, and there we go. So, one thing I'm gonna talk about is restarts. So you've probably seen if you've been watching some gameplay when players say 1-1-1 or 1-1-2, what does that mean? So, let's say I'm not really satisfied with my template. Let's say that, you know what, I, re I really like this zone, like, let's say it's empty, even though you see a nice golden bow here. Let's say I'm not really, don't really like the template, I'm not digging the template. And, you know, I've scouted a little bit and I'm like, nah, this is, this is not a good template. Even though this is, this is a just fine template, but for the sake of the video, let's say it's not good. And I'm gonna call 111. So, what 111 means is first month, first week, first day. Short 111. And then, my opponent has to, or who is the host, has to restart scenario. This is gonna result in creating a new template. A new map. So in general you can have two 111s and one 112. So I've used my one 111 but I have still one left. Imagine if I didn't use it and like in my second turn I, I suicide on, on this script. And I'm like ah uh, you know what it's not GG because I still have 112 left. So I can call 112. I mean let's let's pass the turn first. And my opponent, aka my other PC, is gonna turn. And there we go. So it's 112. Tell you what, I'm gonna call 112 since my hero suicided. And that's it. When both players run out of restarts, you play with what you get. No more restarts, no nothing. You just play, and that's it. So, yeah, one last thing I forgot to note, which is really, really important, is when you're in a ranked game, you when you go quit the desktop, it's gonna say finishing ranked game. And it's gonna say, offer draw, admit defeat, offer to interrupt this game. So basically, if you lost, you wanna do this, admit defeat, because uh, if you don't do that, you're gonna get blacklisted. And what blacklist means is just minus one reputation. So when somebody adds you, it's plus one, but some when somebody blacklists you, it's minus one. So you wanna be sportsmanlike and just click admit defeat, and that's it. And of course, the opponent should do the same for you. So yeah guys, I hope this, this guy did help you, and if you have any questions, just you know let me know in the comments, or even better, join my Discord, and feel free to ask me there. We got a lot of memes, some clips from the streams, I'd also stream if you want to check out my, my Twitch, and there's also here some Might and Magic Reddit Discord, which has more people, and maybe you can find a game, and there's a lot of discussions, and yeah, that's it. Guys, I'm gonna thank you all for watching and I'll see you later. Peace.